It's a new day. Are you ready to make a change? A new part of your journey away to explore the things you never imagined. Forward together. Hello, and welcome to you and to everyone else who has taken the time out to join us in the ninth edition of our Calbank webinar series. My name is Yabanafu, and we're coming to you from the Calbank head office here at number 23 Independence Avenue. Here at Calbank, we're not only interested in your business or your money, but we're also interested in the total development of your business. We therefore leverage on relationships, and from time to time, we bring you conversations here in, the, in this Calbank webinar series to help your businesses to grow so that you can get information on how to grow your businesses. We do understand that in the last time we had this conversation, we talked to you about corporate governance, and we do hope that you picked up some of the learnings from that conversation to make your businesses better. Today, we're going to be talking to you about a different area of conversation, and we're going to be talking to you about personal device and account security on digital payment systems. Personal device and account security on payment, digital payment systems. In many fora today, in homes, in churches, in meetings, in offices, wherever people meet, the conversation is not complete without the mention of the internet, of social media. Today, people are creating their own videos, their own content. People have come to understand that the internet plays a central and a key role to everything we do. And so businesses also have begun to leverage on this understanding. We must understand that technology is agnostic to morality. What this means is that those who choose to use technology to do the right things will do that. And hence, digital platforms and ways of banking and doing things differently today than it was in the past. There are also those amongst us who choose to use this for personal gain and to do the wrong thing. According to a Bank of Ghana industry report in 2020, up to 41% of all fraud cases reported had something to do with cyber fraud. According to our own internal audit report here at Calbank in 2021, up to 67% of all the fraud cases which we picked up had something to do with cyber fraud. It tells us clearly that the conversation on cyber security is one that we must definitely take seriously. And in today's conversation, we're, we're going to be spending time to talk to us and to share information with men of renown in the industry about how to guard our businesses, our personal devices, the computers we use, the softwares that we're using, even our general behavior, social engineering. We're going to learn so many things today on how to protect ourselves because as technology advances, so does crime. And we therefore need to put ourselves in that position where we protect ourselves. Today, I'm joined by some wonderful men of renown who are going to be sharing some thoughts with us and that uh, they've taken the time out to be with us. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. I'm joined today in this conversation by Mr. Kwejo Intim, who is a general manager, technology and operations at Gips. Kwejo, you're welcome to this conversation. Thank you very and much for Thank you for me. taking the time to join us. I appreciate it. Sir. I mean, I recall that off we're sharing some scenarios on some of the things that have happened in this country, harrowing stories, uh, people put money in their account, they wake up the next morning and it's all gone. Very and the first thing they say is, I don't know how it happened. Yes. But we're going to be sharing some thoughts today so that hopefully our listeners will not become victims of that, of that um, or, I mean, of those um, situations. We also have here with us today in the conversation, Mr. Eric Kweku Mensa, who is a lead financial crimes and AML at E-Crimes Bureau. Eric, you're also welcome to the conversation. Thank you so much for having me here. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. I mean, together with uh, Kojo, I, I see that we have a power pack team. Tell you. <laughs> because, because you guys are from industry, right? Very you know, well. So where Very you well. sit, you get to see from a bird's eye view what happens across the entire span of, of, of industry. Very, very, very. And so our listeners are definitely going to benefit from that sure, today. Sure. Of course, we couldn't do this here at Calbank without bringing you some internal and personal perspective. Because remember what our tagline says, forward together. And so we're joined today in this conversation by one of our very own, Edward Akoto Wase who is an online merchant relationship officer with a digital and inclusive banking department here at Calbank. Edward, you're welcome to the conversation. Thank you. This one, they say, is, is, is an internal affair. It's an internal, so, going external. Going external. So we'll definitely make sure that we bring the conversation back to what we offer to our clientele here Certainly. as Calbank. This promises to be an exciting conversation. We have all of these gentlemen here in the studio. And like I said, we're going to be sharing some thoughts on how to protect yourself digitally while you use all of our payment platforms. These and many more to come shortly. Forward together. Cowbank, forward together. Let's talk about passwords. Okay. 
um, even for an institution or for that business owner who's a sole proprietor or uh, an entrepreneur who's, who's listening to us, there is a password for your ATM. There is a password if you're using the CAPS system from Carl Bank, the corporate, um, what's the full um, this oh, thing for CAPS? The, the ca corporate automated payment system. Corporate automated payment system. So clearly you can sit in your office and transact with Carl Bank. There is a password to that. There's a password to your fuel card, whether Shell or Total. There's a password to about five or six different passwords. Then there's a password to your phone. Mm -hmm. Then there's a password to some apps on your phone. There's a password to the password. <laughs> <laughs> password for everything. <laughs> I have on occasion gone to an ATM and punched in my password. Twice it didn't work. Then I realized that I was punching in the password for my shell card Aye. at the ATM. <laughs> How do we keep all these passwords? Without and that's why people now yeah. compromise and they use the same password for different things and they use easy passwords. Nana one two three things like that. You know, <laughs> how do we handle the whole conversation of passwords? Yeah. Yeah. You know, we are inundated with a lot of passwords and because of that, people tend to use one password for multiple accounts. Mm -hmm. Now that is a great risk. It means that when a criminal is able to compromise your password, then they'll be able to go into all your accounts and then do whatever they need to do with your account. So there is something we call password managers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, it's... And it's, even that requires a password. Yes. I've yes. tried it before and I forgot <laughs> the password to the password manager. So, 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 so at the end of the day, there is an avenue for you to, you know, recover or reset your password. Now, so password managers are also good tools to, you know, help protect the numerous passwords you have. You know, because of the uh, volumes of passwords, we have had instances where people even write their passwords, they type it into a Microsoft Word, and then put it on their desktop and name the file passwords. <laughs> so at the end of the day... They're putting a flag on it <laughs> and saying, here it is, come for it. So, so at the end of the day, when your account, your device is being compromised, and I click on that one Word file, I know all your passwords. So use your the password vault as one of the uh, instances. And then another way is you can be innovative about your passwords. Okay, I know the regular uh, 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 advice you all get is alphanumeric, special characters, and the rest. You can decide to, you know, create your own conventions. Let's say if you want to write E, you can change your E to 3. You can change your 0, uh, your, your O to 0. You can change your one to L or I. Mm -hmm. These are innovative ways you can, you can you know, vary your passwords. Yeah. And you know what it is. But there's another concept called a passphrase. So passphrase is basically your password. But, you know, you, you create a phrase or a sentence as your password. So I'll tell you a joke. <laughs> and then I'll come for final comments. <laughs> Passphrase, long story short, yeah. certain man in a financial institution used to take the, the laptops home every day. Yeah. Whenever they went home, what they didn't know is that their son was playing with a laptop and he was tech savvy. Yeah. So every time he came back to the office, they had to call India to reset the password. <laughs> so one time they asked me, he said, do you know, so why do you keep changing your password? He said, I don't. He says, do you know what your last password was? He said, what was it? He said, daddy, stop changing your password every day. Uh, the son had put that passphrase yeah, in it. that's a passphrase. Let me end with you. Final comments. If we remember nothing from today's conversation, what should we take away? So you should know that if criminals don't get information about you, they can't, you know, launch massive attacks on you. So ensure that every confidential information you have is kept confidential, like the word is confidential. If they don't have that info, they can't. And always be security conscious. Mm. Anybody you see, any transaction you are doing, flag it 100% fraud, 100% criminal. They now try to do your checklist. Okay, is the email correct? Is this correct? Is that correct? You call back. If it's very correct, then you can now proceed and do your transaction. So air on the side of caution. Yes. Edward, your final comments. Take out from today's conversation. Um, I would entreat everyone to take uh, control of their own personal um, financial space. Um, and also be wary of um, platforms that they subscribe to. Um, in as much as you would want to join platforms or use electronic devices um, and then use various applications, ensure that every financial application that you subscribe to, um, you, you do your checks to ensure it's secured. 
um, ensure that the, the financial applications that you use have multi-factor authentication implemented. Uh, not just one password and it is able to do everything for you. Um, um, be mindful of where you put your financial instruments, being your cards, being your phones that you use to make transactions. Okay. And then use, um, use financial institutions who have solid platforms like Cowbank. So use, use the, uh, the Cowbank products, use the Cowbank app, which is very secured, which you can use whether you have an account or not. Um, use the mobile banking platforms. Um, use our prepaid cards, use our debit cards. Okay. They are very secured. So Cowbank's products are one of the best. And engage your relationship yeah. persons yeah. continuously yes. for exactly. information. Exactly, and we would also entreat you that as soon as you find anything suspicious in your account, contact your financial institution. So for Cowbank, you can call out a free number or send an email to our customer care uh, line, which is customercare at carbank.net. Or you could even send a message on your app. Or you, you could just reach out, go, go to a branch and make your complaint. But do not just see it and then relax. Don't because ignore it. That, that's that could actually cost making. you. Yes. Thank you so much, Edward. Kojo, your final comment. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, I think a lot has been said for today. But I will come back to the issue of awareness. Fraud, as we are discussing now, happens to be around your money. The money is yours. So take control of it. And make sure that anything that happens around your money is something that you are interested in and making sure you are clear as to what to do and what not to do. Um, the rest of the responsibility that the financial institutions carry in terms of minimum practice or what to do to keep yourself safe. They are continuously doing it like our bank is doing. And so for you as a customer or as a business, you need to take charge of your own, if you like, destiny with regards to your accounts. And make sure that you are always uh, in, in, in tune with what is happening in that space. Okay. And then I'll add a little one. I am very, very um, careful about doing what we are very comfortable at doing, reply to all. Mm. That is where most of the fraud gets, gets to us. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, it doesn't start with that particular email. Mm -hmm. Somebody sends you an, uh, an email about an event and you say reply to all. Now he has your email. Yeah. So subsequently, they come back to you with, now they know you are working at mm -hmm. Cowbank. Of course. So now subsequently, they come back to you with some um, scheme that will help you double your money. And then when the greed kicks in. You fall prey. That is when and you, then you fall, fall victim. Prey. Yes. However, if you do just reply, you get to see one person or the person who sent you the mm -hmm. mail. And you can make a quick decision as to whether you actually want to reply to it Indeed. or not. Indeed. Yes. Thank you so much, Kujo. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Edward. This has been a wonderful conversation here in the ninth edition of the Calbank webinar series. Like the good book says, the Bible says that where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. If your treasure is on your business, it's on your money, keep your heart there, keep your mind there. Err on the side of caution. Don't share information you're not supposed to share. Make sure that things are on a need-to-know basis, and by all means, do protect yourself. This has been the ninth edition of the Cowbank webinar series, which has come to you live from the Cowbank head office here at number 23 Independence Avenue. Until we come your way again, I want to say a big thank you to our wonderful panelists, Edward, uh, online merchant relationship from Digital and Inclusive Banking. Thank you for joining us. Eric Kweku Mensah, yeah. uh, lead financial crimes and AML at eCrime Bureau, and Kojo in team general manager tech and ops at Gibbs. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Until we come your way again with another edition in the Calbank webinar series, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you when we come your way again. Forward together. Calbank, forward together.